Today I'll be comparing the Canon Selfie CP1500 to the Canon IV2 Mini. Although they may not look alike, both of these portable printers share many differences but also many similarities. I'll be comparing the features, the user friendliness, the print quality and finally the value of both of these printers so you make a better purchase decision. So let's get started with the features. I won't list every single one of them, but let's see the most important ones. Both of these printers can print without being plugged into a wall socket. The IV2 Mini has a battery integrated inside of the printer that you need to recharge using a USB Type-C. For the Selfie CP1500 you need to buy a separate one, it doesn't come included with a box, you can only print if it's connected to a wall, but it's nice to have this option. Size wise, I mean this is pretty obvious, the Selfie is quite bigger than the IV. With the IV I can easily throw it in my jeans pocket. And since it's so light, it feels like I'm having a wallet in my pocket, really. While the Selfie CP1500 is bigger, you'll need to have at least a backpack to transport it if you travel with the printer. This is still very portable in my opinion. It weighs less than a laptop and it doesn't take much space in the bag. If you're looking for the more versatile printer of these, I think the Selfie CP1500 is the better choice since it can print using a laptop, PC or Mac, a phone, Android or iPhone, but also from an SD card and a USB thumb drive. While the IV2 Mini only prints using an Android or Apple smartphone. Talking about versatility, the Selfie CP1500 is able to print on four different sizes of paper. Postcard size, which is the regular 4x6, L size, card size and square label. The IV2 Mini prints on a much smaller format, which is 2x3 and is also able to print on pre-cut circle stickers, but they are very small. One of the most interesting features of the Canon IV2 Mini is that you don't require to buy any sort of ink. It uses a technology called Z-Ink, which means that the ink is already included in the paper that you buy. This is a lot more compelling if you're traveling around, because you just need to buy many packs of this Z-Ink paper and throw it in your bag. It doesn't weigh much, it doesn't take much space and you're done. While on the CP1500, you absolutely need to have some ink cartridge. Canon always sells in a pack the cartridge and the paper that goes with it. So in a way, it's not really a problem, but it's just one more step to start printing. Now let's talk how user-friendly are both of these. In this category, there's no contest. The IV2 Mini is much, much more user-friendly than the CP1500. And this starts very early on, when you're trying to connect the printer with your phone. With the IV2 Mini, I was able to get it done in less than a minute and a half. It was easy, I just had to tap on the screen maybe 5-6 times and it was done. Well, on the CP1500, it took me at least twice or even more time, because I had to tap on the screen and confirm many settings. They made me scan a QR code twice in the process to setting up this printer and to be honest it's not as easy. And this surprised me a lot of Canon since they are able to make a very efficient app for the IV but on the other side for the selfie it's like they give up and made a more complicated setup. Another thing that I like about the user friendliness of the IV2 Mini is that you don't need to plug any paper tray or any external device to the printer when you're ready to use it. With the CP1500 you need to put paper in the paper tray, this is fine, but then you need to connect this paper tray to the printer. And when you're done printing you need to remove it and then store it somewhere else. Now let's compare the print quality. The Selfie CP1500 wins by a big margin it's able to print at a 300 by 300 dpi resolution. And this is not all, the color accuracy is very very close. So what you see on your screen and what you get from the printer is very similar. With the IV2 Mini, the quality is not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's far behind the selfie lineup. If you check closely the details, but also the contrast and how the colors are accurate, 
it's not that great. If you think using this printer professionally giving samples to your clients, forget about it. I personally think the pictures have too much contrast. I feel they made this to make them pop, but at the same time some details are forgotten when you do this. Again, it's not that bad, it's just not accurate comparing to what the real picture looks like. And finally, let's talk about the value. The iV2 Mini is selling for a much cheaper price, at $99 currently on Amazon. The CP1500 is selling for much more, at $139 US dollars on Amazon, which is almost 40% more. But I think that this doesn't tell the whole story. Both of these printers are marketed to two different kind of consumers. Just by looking at the Canon ads for the iV2 Mini, I can see that this is made for a younger generation, that cares a lot less about print quality and more about portability and fun of use. Because I admit, I had a lot more fun printing with the iV2 Mini than with the selfie. It's a very pleasant experience to be able to print a picture in less than a minute, no matter where you are. And I even forgot to say that every picture has a sticky back, so can use them as stickers. With the CP1500, you need to plan ahead. You can't just pull it out of your backpack and print in less than a minute. But if you have more time on your hand and print quality is the most important thing for you, then look no more, the CP1500 is the one to take. It's able to print on a much more larger format with more details, better colors, better contrast and overall it's very hard to be deceived by the print quality that this printer produces. And before ending this video, I'll just leave both of this printer printing the same exact picture, so you have a better idea which one of these is faster. And don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment at any time to support this channel. So the Canon iV2 Mini was a bit faster than the Selfie CP1500, not by much, but still a few seconds. But keep in mind that for the Canon Selfie you still need to plug it in a wall and also put paper into the paper tray and then connect everything, 